Well, hi, this is Dee and Dory. <laughs> oh, we're starting. Hello. I thought I'm the Dory part. Yeah, I thought I would surpri I'd surprise you. Yes, you did. <laughs> I was busy looking at my patterns. So yeah. This is going to be our thrift pattern haul. Yes, our thrift pattern haul. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I think we both paid the same prices. How about if we introduce ourselves besides Dee and Dory? We are all <laughs> We are all about thrifty sewing and trying to find good deals. And mm -hmm. sewing doesn't have to be expensive. And, you know, just sharing what our finds are and encouraging everyone out there to try to, to sew and reuse and repurpose and my enjoy necklace. it. My necklace got behind my shirt. Well, you fixed it. So yes. now you're all set. Yes. So, and I did find some thrifted patterns. That's and so why. did I. I got mine at Goodwill. Mine too. Oh, okay. There you out go. of town. Mine too, out of town. Out In of town? state. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine wasn't out of state. Mine was out of town. I was going on a little trip with some friends, and they, they like to do thrifting, but for different purposes. And I'm like, okay, and I found some sewing patterns. I was Yay. excited. Not a whole lot, but enough to make me excited. So. Yeah. But we have an inspirational saying. This is by someone that, when we were in school, we all heard this name. Yeah, hopefully. I don't know. Do they still, everybody know? I have no idea what they're teaching in schools these days. Yeah, neither one Except of us. I know they're not teaching cursive. A type of some, of them, some of them are, are, but there's a whole generation, yeah. there's a whole group that don't know cursive writing. I met a, a lady the other day, and she was telling me how her her child does not know how to write at all. And then I talked to another one that, how old is he now? He's probably 10 or 11. He doesn't know how to write. He said, cursive. Yeah, he said, I'm, yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> no, but right, you can print and it still be writing. Oh, see, it, when I, when we were growing up, yeah, printing and writing were different. What did they call it? Printing. Printing. Because <laughs> <laughs> now printing, oh, we, okay, let's not go off into this. Yeah, let's um, go. Let's see what this person said. He said, you can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. So that's a hint. Oh, and I'm wondering in that time frame. Yes, yes. So did you look that up? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is Co Christopher Columbus. So I think they thought the that world the world flat. was flat. I remember reading about the world being flat. There was because big... look at the time period. He was born in 1451. That was a few hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he died in 1506, only at the age of 54. And just for those who are interested, he he had multiple illnesses. Oh, yeah. They said it started about 14 years before he died. Yeah. Multiple infections that he got. And they said once he started with that, it was kind of like a downhill thing. In case you didn't know, he was an Italian explorer and navigator. Yeah, okay. So, so we won't get into the controversial part of Christopher Columbus. No, well, no. There's, oh, everything's controversial. <laughs> Everything. You, you can make it controversial. Even my dandelion coffee that I drink. Sometimes. Oh, and you know what I have today? Mor mm. Moringa hot chocolate. Which is a mushroom-based. No, no dairy in it. It's a mushroom-based. Yeah, it's so good. It is good. And see, um, when I try to drink dairy hot chocolate, I, my stomach gets upset. Oh, it bothers your it tummy? It bothers my tummy. Oh, you sensitive thing. It is. I and you know, poor baby. I know. <laughs> For me, but I found this moringa, moringa cocoa. I love it. Yeah, and I do support her. I don't. I, I am, am nice because we both have issues with food. It's not just her. Me too. I have to show my. Yes, it, this I, looks this, pretty old. This is really. It's a 1962. That's 1962. It doesn't seem so old, does it? <laughs> I'm like, it what looks is, like it should be in the 40s. I know. Well, it's it. It, the pattern is a little bit, I mean, it, uh, yeah, it's a little worn. This is a <laughs> a Junior and Mrs. Smocked hat pattern. Oh, hand smocking was a big thing back, because they did the pillows. There's a picture of a pillow. Yeah. I think was that's a smocking? hat. I think that's the hat in the hat box, D. <laughs> it's not a pillow. It's, it's the, the hat. green hat. It's the hat <laughs> but you all remember they had smocked pillows that they used to put out of corduroy on couches. 
Or satin. I'm glad it has an easy sewing guide. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it will help me or not. Oh, wow. But I was just so excited to find the pattern. I don't even know if I'll ever use it. It's just so cool to get it. Um, and it was... Oh, show them, the, show them what that front just looks like. I mean, that's even cool. It's how the difference is. Yeah. Yeah. Very Here's nice. some layouts for you. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was Having a, layouts for all sizes. Is that right side up? Did you do that right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't know. Upside down. Now, look. look th I, this is just exciting. Assembling, sewing, and finishing details. Right? That's cool. And then inside here, it says... Now oh, that you know how it easy to it easy it is to follow McCall's patterns, follow all the fashion news, see all the new patterns in McCall's patterns. That is pretty cool. Isn't that cool? That would be just cool to have hanging on a wall. A dollar ninety six for seven for seven issues. issues of the Pattern Fashions magazine. Okay, some of you that are older than us may remember this magazine. I do not. Do you, Dee? No, I don't remember. No. That. But you could get it. And the address was Dayton 1, Ohio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting address. No zip code in anything. No. Dayton 1, oh, zip Ohio. Codes, I, no, zip codes didn't come out yet. Really? Yeah. Wow, oh, I just thought they always existed. No, yeah. no. So if you bought it individually, they were 35 cents a piece. I like the eyeball. I like the eyeball looking around. <laughs> That's kind of cool. What a marketing. Yeah. Yeah. Very cool. Anyway, I thought this was an awesome little pattern. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I will make it, and maybe not. Not smock it. I mean, you could still make that that pattern and not smock it. <laughs> you know, like this little. They're pillbox. all smocked. I aren't know, they? but you don't. You could use it without doing the smock. I know what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> Does that make sense to anybody out there? It's a pillbox that I'd like to make. Suggested fabrics: velveteen, velvet, corduroy, satin, antique satin, brocade. There's that fail. Uh, See, it's been around a long time. It has. Linen or linen-like cotton. For... Organdy? Organdy? Organdy or black dark-colored fabrics. Prints or fabrics the same color as transfer ink. Oh, I don't know. What is this? A transfer? <laughs> you know what? Oh, wow. Look at this. Okay, so look that's at the markings. That's what that's for. So you could do the smocking that's by the hand. That's the smocking. Yeah. Can you see the smocking marks? Wow. Interesting, huh? It, this, this, I don't think, was used. I doesn't appear to be. No. They look at so I'm not doing the hand smocking. <laughs> but it, anyway. it's the, the cover certainly has <laughs> been used. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, around. Yeah. It's been around. But anyhow, that was fun. If you're interested, it is pattern number 6515. Apparently, it's in the cause. <laughs> yeah, very interesting. Yeah. Very cool. Very yeah. cool, that old pattern. Yeah. Do you want to see some of mine? Well, are we going to do every other one? Well, sure, but I'll be done in a hurry then. Anyway, I got all of these were all of this. This is how... It was in a plastic bag. They had theirs in a plastic oh. zip bag, oh, and these dear. had a rubber band around. Okay, but it was not, I mean, you could open it, because okay. I wanted to see, because all I could see was this, and then the back of this. Yeah, right. So and I'm like, not... I don't know if that's worth it, because it was like $5, I think, for all of these. Four fifty five. dollars excuse me. Yeah. Four fifty five for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven patterns. Good, see that cute, yeah. So, yeah, but so I opened it up. This is not a pattern. This is just instructions to a pattern. Oh, but you don't have the pattern pieces. But I don't have the pattern pieces. So that was like, you know, that. so that's what I was, but. So I'm like, okay, well, that doesn't count. But this one here, look at, they're stretch and sews. Oh, for the remember most when part. we had that challenge? Right yeah, there? and I didn't have, this oh, is a blue one. jean pattern. I think I have this one at home. And it's, you know, high-waisted is back again. And I like the pockets. Let me see. Pull out the, pull, the the lady who used it. The pattern itself. Slow down. The lady who used this, or the person who <laughs> made a it. Cup of, uh, a little sip of drink while you're slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> um, never. She didn't. She did just what it says. Don't cut the pattern, but trace it. So the pattern itself has not been cut. But she, she did. She did exactly out of um, interfacing. This is like sewing mm -hmm. in, and she even labeled them. This is. This is um, 
pocket cut two. This it goes on the front mm -hmm. of the pants. So anyway, so that's all in here. I don't know what size she did yet. I hadn't figured that out, but I haven't looked at it that much. But anyway, all of that is in here. And then the do they show the um, do they show the um, the line drawings on this? I don't know. I I haven't taken this apart until now. Evidently not. The line drawings on this. I can only show you here on the back. There's the back with the pockets. And they also have a, the shorts you could make with it. So I'm pretty impressed with that. So, and um, I was excited. So this was stretch and sew pattern number 710. And for hip sizes between 30 and 46 up there. So, and is that used? Uh, yeah, just so knit with a 25% stretch. Did you say that? I wasn't paying I attention. Didn't, I did not. Okay. <laughs> and this is a uh, pattern from 1973. Yeah. Yeah. So I was excited for this one. So there's a couple more I'll show you after Dory sh when it comes, but when it becomes my turn. <laughs> I should do every probably two to your ones. Oh, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I get I get carried away all the time. But mine were ninety nine cents plus my senior discount, so it was a little bit less. But um, this one is a Simplicity eighteen eighty one that I got from and for it, and it's a knit dress in three links with bodice variations. And I would not have gotten it if it did not have the bodice variations because. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna wear, now what is this? <laughs> oh yeah, isn't this interesting? They always have interesting now. Uh... So then here, here in the long line drawings, you can see the bodice part and then the skirt part, right? So um, the, the bodice parts that are uh, where your shoulder is totally exposed, I, I'm not able to wear those because I, I need to wear a bra and I don't want, I don't like bra straps showing, but there's a one view down here that you can make in a longer view and see, um, well, they don't show it there, do they? See this? That would be cute. That would but be long, cute. And yeah, it doesn't show you. It's, yeah. Oh, there it is. Longer it just right shows there. you the parts and how you could put the elements. Oh, they call them the elements. Oh yeah, because this is a project runway. Yeah, you have your bodice elements that you can put with various, with a sleeve element or not, and then the different skirt elements. Yeah, and so if you have the sleeve on it, then it you can, you can that's what this view, these views are. Yeah, so it's 1881, and it is with four stretch knits, like jerseys, lightweight knits, two-way stretch, not only knits. So um, I, yeah, I thought that was a cute, cute pattern from Simplicity that I did not have at home. So, um, do I need to find the year? 2012. 2012. Okay, 2012. You want to put that back for me? Here's another Simplicity. This has, this one has small XXS to XXL. So extra, extra small to extra, extra large. All in one piece, or one pattern, sorry. This is from the American Sewing Guild. Easy to sew, Simplicity. Cute. So it's a pullover, just a tiny, er, tonic, <laughs> tunic, not tonic. Tonic would be good, but it's a tunic. Here's the line drawings, so you can see them. I thought it was a cute pattern. It is cute. And it said easy to sew. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, so. Very cute. I picked that one up too, yeah. And um, here is this one. Here we keep saying we're going to look at this before we do this, and we don't. Uh, no, well, that's the address. 2013. 2013. 2013, yeah. Okay, go ahead. Well, mine is from 1994, Stretch and Soul. This Ooh. one is a, called a master pattern. Ooh. Over 14 wardrobe pieces are included wow. in this. Wow. This is... That's cool. That was worth really it right there. Really cool. And this one here, let's see. This one may be cut out or traced. Oh, it says that bone. It could be either way. And I want to know what does it say here for the fabrics? Oh, it's got all that. Well, this. So just fabrics are down here. Oh, knit fabrics with 25 stretch. Uh, 
bra top and exercise shorts. Um, it's got a bra top in it? Uh-huh. Wow. With spandex with 75 to 100% stretch one way and 30 to 50% stretch the other way. It really has everything in it. Look at what it says. Dress and pullover, cardigan, pants and skirts, swimsuit, leotard, bra top, exercise shorts, panty, and full si full slip camisole and half size. Yeah. So wow. it goes, yeah, pull on it, straight skirt slash. So it has a lot of things. This is, as you'll see, totally been, like, I don't think it's even wow. been unfolded no. in here. How awesome is that? That's a cool so pattern. So this is a cool pattern. No line drawings on this. I don't think the line drawings are on. I don't think they put the line drawings on the uh, stretch and sew. This is the only, is this the only guide for this? One, two, three. You can make the whole thing and. It does. This, this is it. <laughs> That's that. You got this for the cardigans. And then this. Wow. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, so this is That's cool. That's a cool pattern. It is a cool pattern. And I think I might do with that. You know, there's basic. There's some things that you just want basic patterns for. Yeah. So, um. This has them. This has, you know, like a crew neck, neck top, rugby top, cowl neck top, you know, the different cardigans, um, a V-neck dress, and then, you, you know, your camisole, your full slip, your tank tank style bra, just all kinds of things. This is a very valuable pattern. Yeah. It's an awesome pattern. It's an awesome pattern. What a good find. I know. That's worth the whole thing. Next, I'm going to show two McCall's. This one is an easy knit. Six four zero zero. Oh my word! Look at the line drawings. Yeah, yeah. This is the lot. The line drawings. Uh, I was going to show them from here. It's, okay, go ahead. Because it's supposed to be easier to see. Easier to see. So there's the line, line drawings. I don't know where we got the shadow from. Okay, everybody. No. There's a shadow. Sorry. Yeah. So on the back, the line drawings. It's a very. I mean, it's a very simple top. Obviously, it, there's going to be like two pieces. Yeah. Yeah, and it's made for stretch knits only. Yeah, so that's yeah. so that would be an easy one to make. Like when I'm like, oh, I don't have any time. Let's just make something. <laughs> I have this one. Oh, the you do? One. I have this next one. Yes. Okay, so this is five seven one four. Yeah, and there's quite a bit of drawing line drawings in this too. Yeah, we have quite a few variations with that one. Yeah, and, you know, of, of different ways you can make it. Yeah, because it's a do-it-yourself style. Oh, is your line drawings in here? I do not know. There may not be. Oh, wow. There's more pages? <laughs> yeah, more pages. There's like four or five pages to this one. Here's the, well, the, the, the only, oh, here they are. You found them? Yay, you found them. Garments. Them. Ooh, seven pages is what, of course, from the back. Yeah. There they are. Yeah. But it, I think it's, on. was it online? I thought, I thought, yeah, it's an online jacket and coat. So I thought that'd make a cute, um, cute spring coat, but it's for stretch knits only. So you'd have to have a kind of a, you'd have it, to have the right fabric for it. It says you could use sweatshirt fabric. Oh. Which would be interesting. Yeah. But I thought it was cute. I it like, is cute. I like when you see the longer one. That's cute. I think I have this pattern. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, I don't yeah. See, there's a picture that could be Dory and Dee right down there. <laughs> Is there a Dory and Dee there? Yeah, look. Oh, yeah, Dory and Dee. <laughs> it could be. Yeah. Okay, so show us another one of yours. Well, this this person likes the, um, this, the collectibles. This is called a Fundamental, and this is a 1989. And, of course, at that time, there was the shoulder pads were pretty much... Mm -hmm rocking it pretty yeah i think hard. i've seen that they've come back in a lot of new patterns yeah they have and they're we thought they were they were ex, they're extreme now yeah. much more extreme than I'm not, the, I'm not. it looks like you're wearing a football jersey yeah i'm not a fan of it yeah me neither so the back of this you can see again there is a whole listing of uh tops and how you can make them and so it, it's like uh, dress, oh, there's dresses, a romper, a jumpsuit, a six gourd skirt, a straight skirt, shorts, pants, shirt, blouse, square collared shirt, faced shirt with a button front. A faced shirt? Yeah, a square shouted shirt. The square. My shirt has a face. 
Yeah, well, yeah, some of them must have facings in it, it doesn't. And then a t-shirt and a rugby shirt. So that's shirt. another. That's huge. another one that, and this is all, that it's not been used. I don't think it's even been yeah. unfolded. And uh, of course, let's see, this one has, I think a little more detail. Oh, this one does have more details to it. Oh yeah, there's a lot of pages to this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Six, well, because now it's different time. Sixteen pages. Well, no. Wow. Yeah, sixteen pages. You would have thought the other one would have. Any. Yeah. So anyway, um, they look like all patterns. You know, once you get into it, they, you know the line drawings that they show on the inside of what it's supposed to look like looks pretty good. Yeah. Um, let me see if it says for fabrics if it has to be all stretched. Oh wow, teeny tiny. This one is. Woven or knit fabric with 25 or less stretch. So I can do this without with wovens. Mm -hmm. Some of them, some of the views uh, have knit fabrics only to for ease of getting into garment. <laughs> yeah, notice that for all tops, make one size larger if using woven. There Where you do go. you see that? Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. I see it. Yeah, so it does give you some good detailed information if you happen to get these to be sure and read all those little details right, yeah. because you want the garment to to work. And for the you. nice thing about these so see stretch and sews is they they have all the pattern sizes. Well, yeah, I mean, all the sizes again. One. Bust sizes thirty to forty six and hip sizes thirty two to forty eight. Yeah. So yeah, really a great find. Um, yeah. So I'm excited, and I like gourd skirts. Those the six gourds. So I like that. I don't I don't see it on here, but it's back say, here. Where is that? Oh, That's okay. Probably back the fuller there. skirt. Yeah. So oh, there's a jumper too. Yeah, I read that. It has wow. A jumpsuit. And a romper. You're not supposed to listen to you when you read. Oh, yeah. Once in a while. Okay, go. So I have two butterwicks here. They're both C and sews. This is five five one three. Yes, it's easy, very easy. Yes. And this is using the knits again in a lightweight crepe. This one is 2010. And if you want to see the line drawings, it looks easy. Yeah. It's a cute top. It is a cute top. I, I, I like, like those kind of tops cute. because we. You know, it covers the belly. The yeah, it does. Really nice. It really does. I just saw an article um, of how when women have a belly that they need to choose clothes that kind of camouflage it a little bit. And then here's um, <laughs> here's another Yes, It's Easy B5202. This one is, uh, was this one also 2010? No, this is 2008. So this is a little bit older, but it's a dress instead of a top. And... Here's the line drawings of it. Yeah, very easy. Again, it's for stretch knits, moderate stretch knits only, matte jersey and cotton interlock. Yeah, so it's the, uh, it doesn't take a lot of fabric either, uh, depending if you make the long sleeve or the short sleeve. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. The, the short sleeve is only take, like for my size, one and seven eighths yard, and the, um, Long sleeve would be two and the eighth yard. You mm -hmm. have to have 60 inch fabric to, to work with it. Which a lot of knit sets what they come in. So anyway, two other cute cute butterwick and sews. Go ahead with your next. One. Okay, my next one is an Italian tunic of palazzo pants. Italian. Yeah, Italian tunic. I don't know what makes it Italian, but that's it's it's a and it does have line line Ooh, drawings on the back of that cute. one just like that, and this is from uh, 1996. That's cute. So um, this has been cut. You can see I got it got in here. It's been cut. Oh, whoops! So you have so, to check out what size they cut. Yeah, oh. what size? It looks like Is they bigger than you. Yeah, the size yeah. forty. Size forty. So, so yeah, you'll be able to use it. So it had yeah. So that'll be good for me. Yeah. So that's awful tiny for front neck scooped, scoop neck. Maybe you need to enlarge it. I don't know, <laughs> but look at that little facing. Maybe does it go to this one? I don't I'm know. sure it does. I don't know. But anyway, um, yeah, it has. Has some really nice, I love turtlenecks and I like things around my neck as, yeah, for some reason I do. And the Palazzo pants, 
And you can make Cute. those for pajama pants or they're in style now. Yeah. Yeah, I used to have some palazzo pants. Okay, suggested so fabric. Lightweight, drapeable, woven or knit with less than 25% stretch. So very good. Mm -hmm. But I would think you'd want for the tunic. Definitely you'd want a stretch. Yeah, you'd want a, a little because bit of, of a stretch. Because of how you're going to put that on without it. Yeah. I could see the, the pants not needing or the, you know, the palazzo pants. So anyway, but there we go. I have a couple more Butterwicks here. Um, Butterwicks 4813. It was fun to find patterns that I didn't have in my stash already. Uh, this one is a 2006 pattern, but it's it still looks nice uh, to me. I can still wear it. It's still in style. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, that's what you're trying to say. So here's the line drawings of two, uh, Butterwick 4813. And the fabrics that you use with this are lightweight linen, lightweight crepe, um, fail, lightweight broadcloth, and gauze. So the next one is also Butterwick 4238. This is another tunic. This one is a 2004 pattern. You got quite a few different looks with that one. Yeah, yeah. And um, they're both easy, I guess. So that's nice. Yeah. But this is the line drawings of the cute tunic and the pants. The last Very nice. Pants, so yeah, yeah, cute patterns. So now um, we get into um, a new look pattern that was included in that stash that I purchased. It's $64.83. It's just a nice basic summer lightweight top. And this also is on cut. I don't know what the year is. I was trying to find the year, but I couldn't. I wasn't able to find it. Maybe you can. But it's an on cut pattern. See? Well, this oh, is it's a simplicity. You probably said that. I said new look. Is this simplicity? Oh, yeah, new look is simplicity now, isn't it? Um, so this is the line drawings for that. Just basic, nice little top. And I would think it doesn't use much yardage on this one. One and, seven, one and a quarter. Yeah, one and a quarter. Mm -hmm, or one and an eight. Too bad, it's just a little bit over the yeah. one, one yard. It does, it does have the um, the little opening on the side to give you a little ease when wearing it so it's a little bit looser around the hips or your belly. So, and I'm sure the fabrics are just woven for this one. I was looking for the date, but all I found is 2212. Gingham, which is yeah. It's not the date, that was a zip code. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gingham, laundered cotton, so wovens is what we are using for this one. So, yeah. So, and one three eighths inch of a button for the back opening. So that's a nice little easy one hour. Yeah. Well, one hour, that is easy. I'm fast anyway. Probably take me two. <laughs> I got a couple of simplicities here. Oh, that's cute. This is a simplicity 3874. This one, a simplicity I can't find so easy as to, to when it was made. Oh, 2007. 2007. But here's the. Line drawings, cute little jacket with it, and a cute dress. Yeah, I'd have to make the dress longer, I think, but it's cute. Yeah, and these fabrics are uh, charmeuse, silk linen, soft lightweight linen, satin, and chanton. Did I say that one right? Probably not, but <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, and sorry when we say butter, butterwick. Um, that's our Midwest, that's our Midwestern, um, our accent, accent that, yeah. So a lot of comments have been about, is that butter Rick or butter Wick? Well, it's from where you're from. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's from where y'all from. Uh, this is a 2000. I have that pattern. 2008. Oh, do you? That have, one I have. Have you made it? I do not think so. 0509. It's a 2008 pattern. So. It even has a little um, little bag. Oh yeah, to go with that. To go with that. What are they calling it? Uh, yeah, just they're calling it a bag. Yes. So here's the line drawings. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Very nice. Very. Right? Yeah, and design your own so you can like add sleeves or not, and you know. Yeah. 
They that's pattern ha that's another term for pattern hacking. That was popular popular a few years ago. Pattern hacking. Pattern hacking. Same thing. You yeah. know, design your own. And these takes laundered cotton, silks. Um, yeah, wovens. Suede silks. Yeah. Yeah, wovens. Linen blend, blend, little blends. Bag can be lightweight. Denim yeah. twill. And yeah. you know what? We are over, we're pretty much at a half an hour. And I think that's enough that's patterns. Enough. I only, right now. Had, I only had four more that you won't get to see. <laughs> and I and I had this one that uh, came with my stash, which I will not use. I, you can see it. It's a baby doll. Oh. <laughs> As for doll, Ooh. well, actually, it's wedding. Yeah, it's a wardrobe for doll. 18-inch doll. An 18-inch doll. Those were popular growing-up dolls when we were kids. Remember playing with our dolls yeah. like that? Mom mm -hmm. made us Mom all made of... all the kinds of clothes for our dolls. Yeah, so, but yeah. this I will not be using. You can see the line drawings down here. I thought can we weren't showing it? We're not. <laughs> we're not. We're all done. We're not. We're all done because this is plenty long. So, what we didn't talk much about this. You can never cross the ocean until you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. So, sometimes... We need just, you know, we look at something and we're like, that's going to be too hard, too difficult for mm -hmm. me. But we have to have the courage to go, just go for it. Like those French seams go we were so fearful of. And now it's like, nah, we should have been doing this a long time ago. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. And then you conquer that fear and boy, oh boy, you can run with it. Yeah. So. Or buttons and buttonholes. Yeah. See? Yeah. Anyway. All right. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment, like. Subscribe forward, go thrifting and see what you can find yes. for your patterns, patterns and keep your eyeball out and stop. Keep your eyeball out. <laughs> no. Keep it in. I'm sorry. I can't agree with everything she says. Well, you know, I meant keep an eye out. Keep <laughs> Just watch. Keep on the look. There we go. I think that's a better term. Oh, my word. We better get off here. All right. Have, Have a, a great week. day. All Happy right. sewing. Bye. Bye.